The Bible says in Jeremiah 1 verse 5, Before I formed you in the belly, I did what? Shout it now. I knew you. So now, I always say that that is kind of ironical to me because how can God know you if he has not yet formed you? How can you be known if you are not even yet in existence? How can God say, before ever I formed you, that's ever before you came into existence, God says, I know you. So that will presuppose that you existed before you were created. All right? Ever before you came into being, you existed before you were created. Now, if you buy that divine argument, the next question will be, if I existed before I was created, where did I exist? And by revelation, the Lord will have me know that you existed where? In the mind of God. Now, let me paint a picture. If God has a storeroom of his thoughts and his ideas, if God ever had a storeroom of his thoughts and his ideas, you existed in that storeroom as an idea in the mind of God. Then God pulled out that idea and gave the idea flesh and bones gave the idea a family background gave the idea a skin color gave the idea a height gave the idea a weight gave the idea color of eyes gave the idea a language and origin a nationality and god released that idea upon the face of the earth so that means that my ordination was before my fertilization in other words ever before my father and mother came together i already existed in the mind of God. So I always say that every child of God is a living, breathing idea of God encapsulated, or if you like, covered up in human flesh. So when God looks upon the face of the earth, God has seen his ideas. That's why you can't give me the excuse that I'm from a family stricken by poverty because your background does not is not a determinant factor in who you are or what you carry uh, the fact that I'm from inferior from the interior does not determine my place in the exterior face of life because who I really am is an idea of God my family name where I come from does not matter in this subject because who you really are it's an idea of God. Now hold that train of thought. Don't lose it. It means that God made an investment in that idea. Oh, hold it. Don't go. Don't go. I don't want to sound too. God invested in you. Let me flip it aside. God is relying on you to give expression to the idea that you are. God is dependent on you to give manifestation to his idea deposit on the inside of you. So what gives you logical or divine right to be here is not because your father met your mother and said hello one afternoon and they said I like you. No. What gives you real right to be here is the fact that you are a, what an idea of God released upon the face of the earth to fulfill watch this a peculiar agenda have i lost you somewhere so when you when you were born your parents came and said they said is it a boy or a girl they were looking for a gender god was seeing an agenda have i lost you somewhere so that's why that's why nothing that you are on the outside determines your reward the essence of who you are the essence of who you are is not determined by what car your father drove or what village you come from or what your background is. The real substance of who you are is an idea of God released upon the face of the earth. And can I preach there for 30 seconds? May I inform you with every ambulance in me that no idea of God can fail. Ladies and gentlemen, the good news is with God has an idea. I don't care what the enemy can do about it. No idea of God can fail. So let all the demons in my father's house gather. At the end of the day, let them say there's a generational curse or a family curse. Let all the native doctors come together. Who I really am is an idea of God. God made an investment in me. God released me upon the face of the earth and impregnated me with a purpose. And ladies and gentlemen, the good news is that I carry something that is peculiar 
that is a treasure to God and God is relying on me to fulfill his agenda on earth. I am not ordinary I am not just something that happened I don't care if you were born or you were told you were born out of wedlock beside wedlock under wedlock I don't care if your father was never there or if your father abandoned your mother or they said you came for a broken home I don't care what description they give your birth regardless of what they said you are I live in Britain, idea of God, and ladies and gentlemen, no idea of God is permitted to fail. Can I preach to five people for the next 10 seconds? Ladies and gentlemen, your background cannot put you in the ground. You might have come inferior from the interior, but God sent me to tell you today that as ordinary as you look on the outside, on the inside, you carry my treasure, you carry my my idea you are loaded with a purpose and my eyes are on you because I am looking at you to fulfill the reason why you were created worship with us every Sunday at people like Christ ministries God has a word for you